Good afternoon, everybody. I have the S&P 500 index. Now, what we're going to focus on here is we called this top, and we had several highs all the way up here in our market application. At 2,400, we have that reversal. Now, just to give you a little bit of history, let's just take some of these bottoms. This was a bottom that happened on 11-4-2016. Um, and we went parabolically up to 22.12. Now, let us go back over here and take a look at other bottoms, identifying these bottoms that happened in 2016, and the low was 2006. And we broke much higher, all the way up, consolidated, gapped up, and then we got to the 21.85. Now, as we go back and we zoom it up, here is the crucial part of this rally, which once it cleared 22.50, that bull, he was hot. These diamonds that you see in our application on this daily breakout chart. So we take this part right here, bam, that's high frequency. These are algorithms that are used with HFT programs, supercomputer generated by scripts and sell scripts. Once we made several record highs in this S&P 500 bull rally, is is that when it hit 2,400, it was time to buy the S&P 2,400 puts, which are currently up right around 35,000. Now, let's just take a look and let's get right back in here. Is the eight-year bull market history over? Well, I can tell you right now, it's time to sell. And we told everybody that over here, and it wasn't very far. It was on when we started the March Madness on 3-1 of 2017. And we started to break lower and lower. This is a 20-day simple moving average. We're going to come back down here in this base and we're going to see what happens. Right now, the S&P is down four. All these indexes were up today. Let me go ahead and zero in on this, where this is right here that you can see here on this bottom with these diamonds popping higher. Boom! Reversal right there. So one of the things that we take into consideration is when to be short. When is there going to be a pullback? When is the market overbought or once it does have its correction and we break below these half bars right here, we're going down lower. And then we'll start setting up some buying uh, opportunities. So once again, I'm just going to tell everybody very quickly, when was the bull market born? All right. S&P 500 index, $2,400 top that we called. We start talking about the 2009, which is a 250% gain. Uh, when we started this bull rally, then we talk about 12-year low overlooks, which we do. Severe market corrections that had happened in the past. What it was like in 2012. Remember, everybody, when the S&P October of 2007 was hot, the high was 1565. Uh, secular bear market came into play. We talk about 1966 to 1982, 1982 to the current uh, rallies that we've had. 20% um, uh, against the long-term trend. We need that 20% pullback, and we do. And, and so that, uh, once again, when we talk about when the S&P fell about 15% from the summer of 2015, the early 2016 lows as oil prices had collapsed. One of the other great things is we talk about 52-week highs and what the strategies are that we use. Uh, Russell 2000 sank 26% over eight months. We all remember that and what a great buying opportunity that it was bear market or not it was a pretty good washout and look at here 1998 when we started all of it we talk about what it was like um we talk about where the lows were 
and where that bull market truly started five and a half years ago, or you can say 13 months ago. But the thing about it is, uh, in the 1950s was the greatest bull we had. And once again, we got into tech bubbles. This is just a little bit of history. You get to know us, and we'll be happy to um, take you down the road that you need. We have live trading rooms. We got a big sell-off in the Dow and say Yahoo.